Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, a compact SUV from Toyota, the 2019 RAV4 2.5 LTD, and a pickup from Sangyo, the 2019 Muso 2.2 liter 4x2 automatic transmission. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we have the 2019 iOS U7 Ion Concept and the 2019 Alfa Romeo Tonale Concept, plus a feature to feature comparison of two compact sedans, the 2019 Honda Civic and the 2017 Toyota Corolla Altis. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have a closer look and know more about Drift Exhaust on our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. Expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Part of the 2019-2020 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA2019. Then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2019-2020 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2019. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards will win. You choose, you decide. Vote now. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Toyota. The all-new Toyota RAV4 has made a major comeback since it was first launched in the country 25 years ago. Now with a more powerful engine performance, matched with a refresh design and styling, the 2019 RAV4 has quickly made waves following its unveiling. Find out what makes it special in this car review. The all-new Toyota RAV4 embodies Toyota's new global architecture, or the TNGA, the car maker's platform that applies its principles and technologies to improve its lineup of vehicles. With the TNGA, the all-new RAV4 is powered by an enhanced 2.5-liter dynamic force engine with dual VVTi with VVTIE engine. It produces 203 horsepower and 243 nm of torque, a lot higher compared to its predecessor. These figures are mated to an 8-speed direct shift transmission that ensures a quieter cabin. <music> 
Toyota also did special tuning to the front and rear suspensions of the RAV4, which ensures a supple ride with responsive handling. It features a McPherson strut at the front and a double wishbone at the rear. When it comes to the design and styling, the RAV4 showcases a sportier and bolder design. It looks like it's ready for any urban adventure, still thanks to the TNGA. Looking at the exterior of the RAV4, the most noticeable thing would be its cross octagon style, which combines a wide wedge-shaped front that links with an octagon-shaped spacious and utilitarian rear. Moreover, the RAV4 is now faced with two-tiered upper and lower trapezoid-shaped grille that houses a set of bold LED headlights. The pumper has been tweaked as well, together with the taillights. On top of that, the RAV4 now features a set of 18-inch aluminum wheels, which has also been redesigned. Continuing, the interior of the RAV4 likewise showcases a bold look while staying elegant. The cabin has been redesigned, featuring a more rugged dashboard, soft-touch panels. At the heart of it is a 7-inch multi-information display that supports AM, FM radio, Bluetooth, USB, and AUX connectivity. It also features a smartphone mirror link for Android and Apple. Moreover, the seats are wrapped in leather, providing comfort to the driver and passengers. The driver's seat is 8-way power adjustable that also comes with memory and lumbar support for added comfort and convenience. Additionally, the interior of the RAV4 is further highlighted by seat heaters, rear cooler, and a panoramic moon roof. When it comes to safety and security features, the RAV4 has a number of it since it is under the TNGA. Apart from the standard features, the RAV4 is equipped with 7 airbags, 8i front and rear sensors, backup camera, anti-lock brake system with emergency brake signal, and vehicle stability control. All of these advanced features complete the TNGA's purpose and that is to provide an unparalleled peaceful driving experience to Filipinos. The all-new 5th generation Toyota RAV4 has surely made its comeback worth the wait. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. 
Ako po si Michael Kaliwag, labing dalawang taon ng patrol crew para sa NLEX SETEX. Bilang patrol crew, handa akong humarap sa anumang di nasaang sitwasyon. Naalala ko pa noon, 2009, Bagyong Ondoy, papatrol kami sa NLEX nang may nakita kami isang pamilya na natrap sa bubong. Kahit kailangan magpatrol, nagdesisyon kami na sagapin at iligtas sila. Kami ang NLEX SETEX patrol crew, kaagapay at katuwag nyo sa mas maayos na paglalakbay. Welcome back to Auto Focus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. For the first time in Manila, Rupes, an Italian company operating since 1947, recently conducted a seminar and training on the Rupes Bigfoot Polishing Systems, featuring Mr. Jason Rose, Global Director of Training of Rupes. The event was held at C3 Events Place in Greenhouse, San Juan, and was participated in by more than 200 car detailing industry experts. So Rupus is a family-owned and operated business. It's actually been in existence since 1947, third generation of the Valentini family. But primarily, we're known for our tools, industrial, automotive, woodworking, you know, a variety of industries uh, we're known for our tools. But uh, more recently in the automotive car care, we're getting to be very popular as a, a polishing system that's more than the tool. During the seminar, Rose personally explained and demonstrated the proper application of different types of Rupes polishing system, namely rotary, random orbital, also known as duple action, gear-driven, and triple action machines. He noted that most car detailing experts have shifted from the traditional rotary machines to dual action machines. Well, the reason I'm here in the Philippines is to provide a, a training class um, to professionals. And that's how we're primarily going to go to market. Once we educate these professionals on our system and how to use the proper techniques and how to get the good results, then they can achieve those results with their customers. The seminar aimed to raise the skills of the detailers using Rupes Bigfoot polishing systems and make them complete with the international standard. We make sure that we're right there on the scene educating and providing the services to the professional detailers so that they can provide uh, the high level quality service to their customer. So that's our strategy really is uh, it's we educate to differ differentiate that's our mantra. AutoNation Group, importer and distributor of Mercedes-Benz vehicles in the country, has officially launched the new GLE class during an exclusive media luncheon held at its Edsa Greenel showroom. We are now in the launch of the new GLE. So this is the kickoff of what we call the all kinds of strength. So expect that another SUVs will be launched in the next few months. As presented during the grand unveiling, the fourth-generation model of the GLE class exudes the iconic Mercedes-Benz design while remaining true to its character as an off-roader. Moreover, it comes with a roster of advanced safety and technological features for both the driver and the passengers. The new model is basically the fourth generation right now of the GLE family and the tag description is V167 for the new body of the GLE and right now we have it on both sides. It's basically a lot of innovations in the vehicle, from safety systems, from connectivity, from performance, power, and even size and versatility. The GLE is powered by an inline four turbo diesel engine with 9G Tronic 9 speed automatic transmission, producing an output and torque of 245 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. Like its predecessor, the new GLE offers 4 Matic all wheel drive, making driving to the most difficult terrain smooth. In terms of technology, uh, the GLE has a four inline cylinder. We call it the GLE 300D, and it's run by 245 horsepower. Comes with a 500 Newton meters of torque, which is RPM of all about 1,400 to 2,400 RPM. 
and we have this special emission system technology we call it the blue technology which of course the emission comes in comes out of the vehicle all euro 6 compliant already with the add blue technology According to AutoNation Group, the newest GLE is the result of generations of leadership, design and engineering, a powerful promise of trust and capability with a strength of character that can only come from Mercedes-Benz. Ford Philippines has officially launched the new generation Everest. We are launching the new Everest. So this is the, this is the newest, latest uh, generation of Everest. And it's come with the new powertrain, the 2-liter by turbo, and also made it with the 10R80 transmission. So it gives a very nice capability and handling uh, for those who enjoy driving the big SUV, but yet making sure that the driver has control of the vehicle. The latest mid-sized SUV from Ford is powered by a 2.0-liter bi-turbo diesel engine that gives out 213 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. This engine is mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission that offers improved fuel efficiency and better acceleration. According to Ford, with the new powertrain, customers can enjoy lower service maintenance costs with once-a-year scheduled service interval instead of twice a year for better ownership experience. We are here launching the new Ford Everest which brings in with it an all-new bi-turbo engine, which is with a 213 PS power segment leading and 500 newton meter torque again segment leading. The new Everest also enhances driver convenience, comfort and safety with keyless entry and push button start, hands-free power lift gate, power folding third row seats, active park assist and autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian and vehicle detection. We are talking about autonomous emergency braking that's capable in the new product that we are launching right now. As well as parallel park assist and other driver assist technologies that we are bringing into the segment. What is also more important is that it brings in some customer required features in a very apt manner that is used in an everyday life. Available in two variants at launch, the new Ford Everest starts at 1,995,000 pesos. BPI Family Savings Bank has launched an all-out promo with the goal to provide more auto and housing loans this year for more Filipino families. BFSB, through its all-out promo, also lowered its rate from 7.88% to 6.88% as an anniversary offer, which is also fixed for five years. Thereby protecting its clients from interest rate fluctuations, it has also waived up to 50,000 pesos worth of fees, which include handling, appraisal, registration, and notarial fees. BPA Family Bank's uh, most recent promo, the all-out promo, is actually applicable for both our auto loans and our uh, housing loans product. So auto loans, we're giving away free chattel mortgage fees and free insurance. And this is eligible for accounts at least 500,000 and five years in term. So housing loans, naman, we're giving away, again, free fees, free registration fees. And at the same time, the lowest rate right now in the market of 6.88% fixed for five years. Under a limited time offer, BPI Family Housing Loan applicants can acquire their dream house for as low as 20% down payment and a longer payment term of up to 25 years, which translates to more affordable monthly amortizations. For auto loans, clients can save up to 50,000 pesos on shadow mortgage and first-year comprehensive insurance. Sa auto loans, for an average of 1 million loan for a 5-year term, you'll be able to save almost 50,000 in fees. So that's 50,000 savings you can use for other expenses. Sa ating home loans naman, for the fees, you'll be able to save more than 20,000. But more than that, it's the savings you'll get from the lower monthly amortization. So for a, for a 3 million average housing loan amount for 10 years, you'll be saving almost 100,000 for 10 years in monthly amortization. The company also partnered with selected car dealers for exclusive deals free 147,000 pesos on the all-new KTM 200 Duke, up to 210,000 pesos exclusive discount for BPI Family Auto Loan for Isuzu Mu X 3.0 LSA AT or DMAX RZ4E LSMT or AT availers in Luzon or Metro Manila participating dealers. 200,000 pesos worth of accessories and other freebies such as insurance, LTO registration, tint, and floor matting. 
For those eyeing Honda cars, exclusive discounts of up to 130,000 pesos are being offered, plus free 3 years LTO registration and 3 years warranty, apart from other freebies. BFSB also extends free preventive maintenance schedule for up to 5 years to buyers of Mazda CX-5, CX-9, and MX-5. All approved applicants for auto and housing loans will get to enjoy exclusive cash discounts and freebies from July to October this year. I'd like to thank again our media partners for coming here and I'd like to invite all our uh, Filipino friends out there who, want, who are planning to buy an auto loan and housing loans. So come over to BPI Family Bank. We have the best deals in town. Visit any of our BPI Family Bank branches and uh, BPI and Family Bank officers would be happy to help you. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam. My passion, my blend of coffee, my inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Ordering today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest-running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online, just a click away. The tactical survival in arms expo is back on another leg with a more intensive take on the global issues on environment, economic uncertainty, security threats, and the like. Visitors may avail of the free seminar during the event. The Visayas leg of the expo will take place on September 5 to 8 at the Cebu Trade Hall, third level of SM City Cebu. Admission is free. You can pre-register online by logging on to the Tax Expo site. See you at the Cebu leg of the 2019 Tactical Survival and Arms Expo. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven-seater in style. All-new El Tiga debut. Be part of the 2019-2020 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA2019. Then vote for as many as 5 different models that you believe should become the 2019-2020 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2019. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards will win. You choose, you decide. Vote now! Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's Head to Head, our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category. For over two decades now, Honda and Toyota has been butting heads in the compact sedan segment with the Civic and the Corolla Altis. Now with refreshed designs, these sedans are at their peak. Let's see what they've got in this head-to-head. -head. Let's begin the head-to-head, -head, starting off with the two compact sedans' respective powertrains. Under the hood of the Corolla Altis is a 2.0 V-liter dual VVTi engine that delivers 145 horsepower and 187 newton meters of torque. These figures are made into a 7-speed continuously variable transmission. On the other hand, the Civic is powered with a 1.8-liter iVTEC engine that delivers 141 PS of power and 174 newton meters of torque. 
The engine is coupled with Honda's Earth Dream technology continuous variable transmission. When it comes to handling, both of them provide a comfortable and quiet ride thanks to their respective suspension setups. For the Corolla Altis, it uses a McPherson strut at the front and a torsion beam at the rear. Meanwhile, the Civic suspension setup is comprised of a McPherson strut with stabilizer at the front and a multi-link at the rear. Let's proceed to the exterior features of our featured compact sedans. The look of the Corolla Altis showcases a sporty design. This is probably attributed to its front bumper that features a larger central air dam and neat cutouts for the fog lamps. Moreover, our variant here is the only one that gets to have a two-lamp LED and gun metallic rib with auto leveling. Subtle character lines are also present on the sides of the Corolla Altis. Toyota also added rain-sensing wipers to the car, plus 17-inch alloy wheels. Overall, its exterior is bold and straightforward and it boosts stability while commanding a strong presence on the road. Meanwhile, for this Civic, its exterior is highlighted by a newly designed front bumper framed with an angular set of fog lights and slim full LED headlights. Its sides are sculpted, giving more definition to the muscular body of the Civic. At the rear, you can find C-shaped LED taillights. Also, the variant we have here comes with a 16-inch sharp gray metallic alloy wheel. Let's now take a look of the interior of the Corolla Altis and the Civic. As you step inside the Corolla Altis, the all-black interior that is complemented with blue lighting and chrome accents will be the first thing you will notice, plus the sports leather upholstery. When it comes to the seats, folding rear seats are present, and the driver can rely on the electric adjustable driver's seat and tilt or telescopic steering wheel. For added convenience, the Corolla Altis comes with features that ensure the convenience and comfort of the passengers, such as an automatic climate control system, power steering, power door locks, power windows, and power mirrors, among others. In addition, for entertainment and navigation purposes, the Corolla Altis is equipped with a 4.2 color display that comes with smartphone mirror link and is available in USB and aux connectivity, which is now big plus points in cars in its segment. Sound is enjoyable through six speakers. On the other hand, the interior of the Civic features a driver-oriented dashboard with new hard buttons and a rotary volume knob for easier access and usability. Additionally, the Civic has a high center console. The seats are all wrapped up in leather, even the interior trims, and it also has new sport pedals. For the infotainment system, the Civic is equipped with an updated 7-inch touchscreen advanced display audio system that is available with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. When it comes to safety and security, both the Corolla Altis and the Civic are equipped with features that focus on ensuring a safe ride for the driver and passengers. For one, the Corolla Altis has various active and passive safety features such as cruise control, vehicle stability control, anti-lock brakes, parking sensors, and seven airbags to ensure the security of the driver and its passengers. Meanwhile, with the Civic, features such as dual airbags and anti-lock brake system with electronic stability control, among others. That was the new Honda Civic and the Toyota Corolla Altis, proving that there's always more to look forward to in the compact sedan segment. More about the automobile here in Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars, as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2019 a U7 Ion Concept. Let's watch this. iWaze, the Shanghai-based personal mobility provider, has unveiled a new all-electric car concept, the U7 Ion, at Auto Shanghai 2019 today. The concept car is the latest step in iWay's ambition to provide a full range of fully electric, highly intelligent vehicle for the global market and follows the introduction of its production-ready U5 mid-size SUV into Europe at the Geneva International Motor Show. The U7 Ion concept features an integrated self-learning robot which can move around the interior of the vehicle to ensure occupants' comfort at all times. The U7 Ion concept uses a total of 12 screens throughout its interior, including a smart dashboard touchscreen integrated into the steering wheel and a touchscreen built into a smart mobile console, which can travel around the cabin.
NLEX Viaje Tips presents Healthy Road Trip. It's time for that much-awaited vacation, but here are a few things to watch out for. Sitting for long periods of time can form blood clots in your body like in the legs. To avoid that, stop for a quick break, get up, and move around to get your blood pumping. Car air conditioners speed up dehydration, so make sure to drink water frequently. Lastly, while driving, protect your eyes from the sun by wearing UV blocking sunglasses. And for a smoother trip up north, you can now drive all the way to your destination with one RFID. Get your Easy Trip RFID sticker now. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. Welcome back to Autofocus. Our special feature is next. Every car enthusiast needs a powerful and efficient exhaust system. In this special feature, it's all about Drift Exhaust, a brand that provides a race-engineered exhaust system. What's better is it is locally designed and manufactured. You have all about it here. Watch this. Welcome to this special feature, Spotlighting Drift Exhaust. Before we dive into the nitty-gritty, let's look back at how it all started. Drift Exhaust, a specialized automotive shop initially operated at the owner's own garage, receiving inquiries from family and close friends for his professional advice regarding speed boosting and upgrading exhaust systems. That was six years ago. Eventually, GM Bugayo, the man behind the brand and the driver of the year during the 2002 Philippine Drag Racing Federation, decided to put up his own shop in Taitai Rizal. GM says it's all rooted in his passion for speed. We specialized on exhaust system, intakes, and speed boosters. So we're a specialized shop. We're not like the other shops where they sell everything that they can. And that's what's special about us. Because of that, we master our craft. It's like going to a doctor who is a surgeon or who specializes on something. Even though his hospital is far from your place, you're really going to go to that person because you know that he's something that you're looking for. Because this is a niche market, we specifically focused on what we're good at, which is building exhaust system, building intakes, and you know the rest of the performance upgrades that we provide for our customers. One of the latest products that Drift Exhaust offers is the Speed Booster, a product that eliminates throttle delay or lag present on cars and improves acceleration. Speed Booster is a throttle controller which gives you faster acceleration. This is different compared to the ones offered in the market because I partnered in designing it. There were five generations already. The latest Speed Booster that I have is on the fifth generation because of the first four generations, I had to tweak it to where it matches the market here, locally, the Philippines. What makes it stand out more amidst competitors in the market is that GM helped in designing it to ensure quality. Moreover, he crafts the output to match the client's preference. Personally, I don't think I have a lot of competitors because we're different. Meaning that once the customer sets foot in the shop, I act as a consultant. I ask him, you know, why do you want to get your car upgraded? And what do you want to get off of it? And I also ask him the sound that he prefers, the looks, all of those things, you know, I ask. 
and then I'm kind of like the chef. You know, I want to know what he wants to order, but at the same time, I'm the one who's taking care of all of the ingredients. Now, this sets us apart from, I guess, the competitors or the exhaust shops in the market because we custom fit our exhaust system to the wants and needs of the customer. Some of the customer doesn't like their exhaust to be loud. Some customers like to hear the rumble noise or rumble sound of the exhaust system. Some like it to be aggressive. So I match their exhaust system to their preference, but at the same time, I protect the brand, meaning that if I know that it's not gonna sound as good as I hope for, then I tell the customer, that's not something that we can design for you, but then I would recommend something else which is a lot better. On top of that, Drift Exhaust highlights that the Speed Booster is jam-packed with additional features such as five different speed modes. So I'd say it's the smoothest, yet it can give you the response that you need and the acceleration. But at the same time, I also put different functions. So not only are you gonna get the acceleration that you needed and get rid of the lag, but there's also added features such as intelligent mode and anti-theft mode. So these are the stuff that makes our speed booster ahead compared to what's offered in the market. Let's take a closer look at how the different modes work out. So we've just installed the Drift Exhaust Speed Booster on this Mitsubishi Strata, which took about five minutes to install and five minutes to uninstall, but and it's a plug and play device, so there's no wire splicing or anything like that that will void the warranty. So this is the module right in front of me. And in this module, there's actually different modes. Right now, we're on in normal mode. Once you see the two bars over here, that means you're in normal mode. If you press this once, it's gonna go to the next mode, which is the power mode. P stands for power. And then the numbers here, here are for the intensity. So you have P0 up to P9. P9 being the most intense. The next level of speed would be, if you're gonna press the modes again, the sports mode. The sports mode is the highest level of speed or acceleration. So it also has uh, nine levels, zero to nine, and nine being the most intense. So you're gonna be able to use this in open roads or when you're racing or do going uphill. But this is not something that you're gonna choose when you're driving on a daily basis because it's too aggressive. And it's gonna give you like a 50% faster acceleration right off the fly. The next mode would be AC or auto control. Auto control means it's the intelligent mode where you're not gonna do anything else. Once you press the acceleration or the gas, it will set or it will choose the desired preference or the desired intensity. Once you're in auto control, that's actually the mode that I would recommend you for daily driving because it's not too aggressive, but at the same time, it's gonna delete the lag or get rid of the lag. And at the same time, it's gonna give you faster acceleration. The next mode would be the echo mode. The echo mode has nine settings as well. The E9 would be the least uh, aggressive and then the E0 would be somewhere close to the normal mode. So you're gonna use the echo mode while driving on traffic and it's gonna give you around 4% gas savings. Another thing that sets our Drift Exhaust Speed Booster apart is the anti-theft mode. If you press the right button for three seconds, it's gonna show LO or lock. And even if you try to press the accelerator, you will see that there's no RPM response. So what's gonna happen is this is gonna give you added security, you know, if they're a car knopper, because they won't be able to drive your car around. Now to get out of this, you just have to press this again for three seconds and it's gonna give you back your acceleration. Now to give you a demonstration on the different modes, I'm gonna press the accelerator just the same amount and then put P9. 
immediately you'll hear that the engine is gonna give you more power I'm gonna put it to S it's right about 2500 rpm right now the echo mode is gonna bring you back to 1000 but the normal 1.5 power 2000 sports 2500 so even if you're not driving the car you will already feel how the speed booster is affecting your engine or your ECU or influencing your engine to where it's more responsive Meanwhile, for their air intake system services, Drift Exhaust partners with the k and brand and there's a good reason for it. So when I was racing, you know, of course, when you buy something, you want result right away, correct? So I see how fast or I know my elapsed time for the cars that I race. And so every time I put something, I would know which product would give me the bang for buck. I find k and to do just that compared to the, the other products well-known products, even more ex expensive products that, you know, I buy that I did not see improvements. So with k and I saw the improvements. Hence, I dropped the other brands that I was selling and focused on k and and partnered with them. And I'm so happy that they're able to trust me with their products. And um, because of that, we've been selling k and for a while now and there's a lot of good feedback with this product. It didn't give me headaches such as you know, the previous products that I was carrying, specifically because it gives you like a lifetime warranty. So that itself, it, it's a testament that, you know, their product is of high quality. Drift Exhaust is committed to providing the market a state-of-the-art volume controlled exhaust system. You may visit them in Tai Tai Rizal and have your car get what it deserves. So I'd like to invite everyone to visit Drift Exhaust located here at Tai Tai Rizal. We're actually in front of Walter Mart. We're along Ortigas Extension, but you can always put us on Waze or Google Maps. Uh, we're open from Mondays to Saturdays and you may contact me on my number at uh, 0917 -4646 And we will be very much willing to assist you and uh, you know to provide you with everything that we can to, uh, make your car run faster, sound faster, and even more fuel efficient. So thank you so much. Car is not an option. Face reality and address each problem one step at a time. And you will survive. Take risks, be bold, and enjoy. Because life is good. That was all about Drift Exhaust, the state-of-the-art exhaust system. And up next is another exciting feature in all of the world. This time around, the 2019 Alfa Romeo Tonale concept. Let's watch this. Alfa Romeo is breaking into the electric car world at the 2019 Geneva International Motor Show with the new Alfa Romeo Tonale mid-size SUV concept. The Tonale is the first plug-in hybrid and the first mid-size utility vehicle from Alfa Romeo. It rewrites the rules of today's fastest growing segment using the manufacturer's trademark combination of unique Italian style and unparalleled driving pleasure. The design of the Tonale is an expression that looks fondly into the future. Its compact dimensions embody unique Italian design and the unmistakable Alfa Romeo style, showcasing the future evolution of the brand. Its design recalls a number of time-honored design elements that are synonymous with the rich history of the brand, with an execution that excites a modern approach to the new Alfa Romeo anatomy. An element that echoes the tradition of the Alfa Romeo DNA is the 21-inch telephone dial wheels with exclusive Pirelli tires. The lineage of the telephone dial wheels dates back to the 1960s, worn proudly by the iconic 33 Stradale. The bold, elegant volumes of the body make reference to a seemingly distant past, recalling the stylish qualities of the Duetto and the Disco Volante Spider, while the Tonales Linea GT interprets the confidence and stance found on the beloved GT Junior. 
the front end sports the Alfa Romeo signature Trilobo and the distinctive Scudetto grille that serves as the central point of strength, driving speed, and fluidity that moves throughout the tonale. Completing the front end is a 3 plus 3 headlight that evokes the proud gaze reflective of the SC and Brera. The rear of the tonale is elegantly defined by an enveloping window volume complemented by the suspended wing that enhances the continuity between the transparent roof and the rear window itself. The things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Part of the 2019-2020 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on to www.autofocus.com.ph slash AFPCA2019. Then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2019-2020 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2019. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards will win. You choose, you decide. Vote now. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here in Autofocus as we have our second car review this week. What we have in this edition of Car Review is an offering from Sangyong that possesses most of the things one would look for in a pickup. From its design down to the smallest details, the 2019 Muso no doubt comes strong with its own identity. Find out more about it here. Watch this. In this car review, we have the 2019 Sangyong Muso 2.2 liter 4x2 AT. Under the hood of the Muso is a powerful 2.2-liter turbocharged diesel engine that delivers 179 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque. These figures are mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission that transfers all power to two wheels. All Muso variants are 4x2 and come with an automatic transmission except for the two Muso Grand variants that come in 4x4 and a manual transmission respectively. The Musa also offers various driving modes which a driver can choose from depending on the road condition that the pickup will be taking on. Meanwhile, handling is managed by coil spring at the rear suspension. For a pickup, this setup is uncommon, although the Musa is not one to miss road imperfections as you could feel a little roughness here and there. Basing on the exterior of the Musa, there's no doubt that this pickup showcases a masculine design. Up front, the radiator grille highlights the front fascia of the Musa more so the halogen headlamps with daytime running lights. Character lights are also present, especially just below the belt line. This gives the Musa's body more definition. The Musa's side mirrors are power folding and adjustable with LED turn signal integrated. 
Over at the rear, the taillights are bigger than those of Musa's predecessors, though the change is not that visible. Also, the cargo bed may be shorter than the previous ones, but it's deeper and wider and could carry more baggage. The Musa powers through the road with 18-inch alloy wheels, adding extra character to the pickup. Let's hop on in our featured vehicle. The interior of the Musa could compete as one of the best in the market, and it's because the Korean car maker put the drivers in passengers' comfort and convenience first before anything else. For one, the cabin is spacious and is not cluttered at all. The buttons and controls are in the right places and within reach of the driver. The speed-sensing power steering wheel comes with a heater, which makes up for the fact that it comes with tilt configuration only. But the real show stealer here is the seats, wrapped in a premium brown napple leather. The driver's seat is heated and ventilated and is 8-way power adjustable. Meanwhile, the rear seats come with the seat heaters as well. For added convenience, the Musa is equipped with dual-zone auto climate control with rear vents. Plus, the window on the driver's side comes with one touchdown option, among other interior features of the Musa. The infotainment system of the Musa comes with an 8-inch LCD smart audio with USB Apple CarPlay and Android Auto navigation. The six speakers handle the enjoyment while traveling. When it comes to safety and security, the Musa is equipped with features such as anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution remote keyless entry, rear-view camera, and six airbags. That was the 2019 Sangyong Nuso. An offering from the Korean car maker that changes the game in the pickup segment. Hi, this is Sydney, and today we're going to talk about turbos and boost controllers. Chances are, when you buy a diesel car nowadays, it has a turbocharger. It's not exclusive anymore to high performance cars like Subarus or Evos or racing cars. Almost every turbo diesel on sale now from any manufacturer has one of these things. And that's why they're great and they do make a lot of power and a lot of torque. Now this turbocharger sucks in air here, pumps it, air goes out here. And this air has pressure in it. The same way that in your mom's pressure cooker, when you reach a certain pressure, the whistle sounds. In the turbocharger, there's a similar mechanism that tells you that, or actually tells the engine that, okay, Pressure is right, let's set it at that and don't go any higher. It's this thing, this is called a wastegate. Inside here is a diaphragm that goes forward and backward. What it does is connects to this lever, which opens and closes this flap. Once the pressure goes here, it's correct, it will push this lever out and this flap will open, bleeding off some of the exhaust gases. Now, there's a way to increase the boost, which is using a boost controller. and. It's this little thing. Basically what this is, this is a valve. Air goes here, air goes out there. This little knob restricts how much pressure that goes in here. So if you blow here, you twist it, only little air comes out here or a lot of air comes out here, delaying the signal to open and close the wastegate. And this thing simply just installs in between pressure side here and the wastegate. So the simplest is this goes here, this goes here, That goes there. That's the simplest way to go about it. <laughs> or the other way that they recommend is to a little bit more complicated but can do it a little bit more precise is this way. In a nutshell, this is how it's connected. So how this works is this. There's pressure inside this line that goes to the wastegate. What we're doing here is we're bleeding some of the pressure off here. So let's say this one comes out of 14 PSI. But since you're letting out some of the pressure here, pressure that goes here is less, maybe 12. So here you're bleeding one, two, three, maybe four PSI. By adjusting this knob here, there's a plus and a minus here. The plus and minus here don't mean anything. It does not mean one click is one PSI, two click is two PSI, no. Every car is different, every turbocharger behaves differently. So the only way for you to properly adjust this is if you have a working and accurate boost gauge installed in your car, or you have a 
brought to a dyno. So you can see if the adjustments that you're making are making power indeed and if it's enough because this one here will now connect to the boost sensor of the dyno itself. Now when you open your engine, most people can identify some of the basic parts like this is the air filter, this is where you put in the oil, that's the battery, but that's pretty much it. And for turbo diesel cars, like on this Montero where we're going to install the boost controller, this is your turbo down here. That's the turbocharger right there, this is the compressor side, that's the turbine side or the exhaust. The wastegate is actually down here, this rod here, that's where the wastegate is. That's what controls how much boost pressure is enough and then it opens the flap. So all the air the car gets comes from here, the air box. Then once it goes in, it gets burned, exhaust gas goes out here. And this is where we're going to install the boost controller. <laughs> So this is the boost controller installed, it's just this little thing then later on once we're finished setting it, we're gonna secure it here somewhere with a zip tie and then here this is a lock nut, we will tighten this so no makulit car wash boys gonna make me hit this when they do a car wash because if they do it'll mess up your boost settings. So here there's a plus and a minus, we start here by making the knob all the way to the minus, so this basically is stock boost. Then we'll slowly rotate it to the plus side while watching on the dyno how much boost we actually get. Now as you can see, we have the boost controller on one side, then we have this thing connected to the dyno. This is where the ECU reads boost. This is in the manifold and it goes to this sensor. This thing's called a manifold absolute pressure sensor. This converts pressure into voltage that the ECU can understand and this is what also it references, let's say, okay, at 2 volts, it's this much pressure. At 3 volts, it's this much pressure. Therefore, we give this much fuel and that much fuel. And that's how it works. And that's all the focus this week. And on behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, we hope you all found this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been Ray Louis Gamboa. <laughs>